morning everyone. We have an absolutely flat calm day here. It is about 7.15 if I had to guess in the morning. And we're gonna try and do a little offshore send. I'm here with JC from JC Fishing. He's doing the dirty work, uh, throwing the, the chum in the water right now. We're gonna see if we can get some uh, greenbacks and pinfish on a grass flat. Uh, we got about four dozen shrimp and we're gonna run offshore and see if we can get some hogfish, snapper, maybe some red grouper and just kind of see what happens. And if we get some greenbacks, maybe have a free line and see if anything wants to bite that. But first step of the day, gonna get some bait. Like I said, he's chumming on a grass flat. We're at about three feet of water. And I'm gonna throw the net. Let's see what we get. Oh, not good, but not bad. All right, we got some pinfish it looks like. So as you see, we got a lot of pinfish, kind of a variety of sizes. This size right here, it's good for like a big mangrove snapper or maybe like a lane. This is good for just all around uh, snapper. And then this one, a little bit bigger, like a big mangrove or maybe even a grouper on that one. So we'll throw a couple more times, see if we get white bait and more pinfish. Then we're heading out. I got a pipe fish right here in the cast net. They're in the same like family as like seahorses. It's pretty much a seahorse without the, the like horse. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's a good one. <gasps> Ow. Are you stupid? Yeah. I wanted them to get in the boat. <laughs> he just kicked a pinfish across the deck barefoot. Sacrifice a body for the win. Absolutely not. I had way too much load in my. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> just cast netted some mostly pinfish. We got a lot of pinfish, variety of sizes. Some good for snapper, some good for grouper. We only got, I think, three white baits. So it is pretty foggy. So I'm gonna be probably running out a little slow until it gets to be a little bit clearer out. I mean, it's not too bad. I'm seeing I'm seeing stuff probably 200, 300 yards ahead of me, uh, these channel markers and stuff. But we're gonna get going here soon. See if we can catch some snapper, grouper, and hogfish. Maybe a kingfish, so we'll see. Running out, and we came across some balloons right here. So, one, see if there's any fish on it. Two, pick up the ocean. <laughs> yeah, I did not line you up well with that. Yeah. Oh, good gaff. Sorry, that was really. What does it say? Celebrate? Really exaggerated. Um, what are we celebrating? The hook, hook R plus. The, the hooker plus. The hooker plus. There you go. Brought to you by Celebrate. Hopefully, this gives us a little good karma out here. Koki. All right, so we just got out here. We're about 18 miles offshore. It is 65 feet of water. Water temp is about 64 degrees. And we're on just a section of hard bottom out here that we get a lot of hogfish at. And we're gonna see what we can get. I got a little stinger rig set up on my uh, ghost setup that I picked up recently. I got it uh, from a guy named Nick over there at Pro Marine. So thank you, Nick, shout out to you. JC's got a little hog ball tied up on a lighter setup. I have a chicken rig set up on my 4000 uh, Procyon, that's the name of that reel, the 4000 Procyon, I got a chicken rig set up for a snapper, all that does is keep it off the bottom about a foot, foot and a half uh, away from the grunt, so we got some small pin fish and shrimp for that, and I also have a hog ball tied up on my Daiwa BG MQ 2500, so I'm going to start trying to get some snapper, and we're on a little bit of a meat mission, we're seeing if we can get mangrove snapper, maybe some lane snapper, hogfish and red grouper that is a goal for today so start by getting that free line set up look at this look at this look. you're already getting hit you're on got a little stinger rig set up jc's probably got a hogfish on right now maybe or grunt or something this is a stinger rig those hook it How many fish are down and there? then gonna put this little oh my god i can see it's so far down i saw it like 30 feet down this is one of the calmest days i've seen in a while yeah there we go. So I got nose hook and then trouble hook in the back. And these guys are closed right now. My new setup I got from Nick. Let's see if we can catch something on it for you, Nick. Give it some line. I'm just going to put it in the rod holder. 
We decided we wanted to drop a GoPro down to the bottom to see what kind of fish were actually down there, and there were a ton of species right off the bat. We were seeing some trigger fish that were coming up and literally trying to eat the GoPro. And there was also some grunts. Uh, these are the white grunts, also known as Key West Snapper. And we also had some red grouper. And these are typically the three species that are the most aggressive and will come to a bait first on a spot. So I'm not surprised that they showed up when we dropped the GoPro down. Here's another close up of a trigger fish. Here's another little, little red grouper, not even close to keeper size, but as we start panning around here, we start seeing some of these gag grouper and off in the distance, you'll see a couple big ones swimming around. Like this one right here is a tank. Wish we could have got him to eat, but maybe next time we go out there. You also see another big one swimming over here on the left side of the camera as soon as the pants are right there. And there's some mangroves swimming up a little bit higher in the water column. Again, trigger fish everywhere. Some scam grouper as well, which would be cool. It's just so cool being able to see all these different species. There's a hogfish right there swimming around. You could also see some other gags swimming a little bit further behind that hogfish. Had some uh, mangroves swimming around, another trigger pecking at it. Hogfish swimming right there, it's a smaller female. And I think there would be a second hogfish following behind this one here shortly. Oh, no, there is a queen angel fish. I forgot about that one. There's a second hogfish. Trigger fish all over the place. So a lot of life on this little section. There we go. Got a one of circle hook. It's going to hook him from the bottom jaw through the top jaw on a little chicken rig. And we're going to see if we can get some snapper. Is there a snapper down there? Yeah. Yeah, and a grouper and a trigger fish. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see if we can get them. Big Grunt, snapper, grunts, love pinfish. Grunt, snapper, trigger fish. I'm pretty, that looks like a grouper tail that I just saw right there, but like, oh, no, that's snapper. Wow. Dude, this is some cool. Oh, hog, hog, right in the middle of the camera. Big hog? I don't, it's hard to tell underwater, but dude, this is so cool. Oh. I enjoy this, like, oh. Ridiculous amount. Yeah. The, the hogfish just came up to the camera like lens. Oh, oh geez. I, saw, I saw that. All right, let's get back to fishing. We'll drop the camera down to keep recording, but there we go. There we go. There we go. Be. be a snapper. Be a snapper. Be a big snapper. Be a big snapper. Come on up. That's a grouper. Come on up, the red grouper. Not quite 20 inches that we need. Not bad though. Come on over here. So JC just dropped his GoPro down. I might drop my GoPro down in a little bit, but he says that there's a lot of snapper and a lot of grouper down there and some hogs. So we're on a good little spot right here. This is a red grouper. They need to be 20 inches to keep their in season right now, but he is not 20 inches, so he's going back home. See you, dude. Let's get another pin. There we go. Oh, well, that's a hog. That's a good hog. Get him up. Can we get the net? Maybe. Yeah. No, it pulled the hook. Dude, I wasn't even forcing it. Oh, goodness. That was a good hog. That looked like a good hog. Yeah, it felt like it. All right, they're down there. All right, dropping a hog ball down. Just like a colored weighted jig that's got a little circle hook on it instead of a J hook. And it's kind of free moving on the jig head. So it gives a lot more um, maneuverability. Uh, crabs also look, work really well when using these or uh, just going for hogfish in general. You could get little fiddler crabs. I've caught them on that. Mangrove crabs All right on the bottom. And then you just let it sit on the bottom for as long as you possibly can. The longer it sits, the higher probability that it's gonna be a hog that picks it up. There we go. That's a grunt. This free line's coming out. Again? Yeah. I got Mr. Grunter, I think. Wayne Grunsky. <laughs> oh! Oh, never mind. Baby hog! There we go. Little baby hog. We gotta get one that's uh, what we got? 14 inches uh -oh. to the fork. Good. We got another hog. Good one? No, a little girl. We're on the hogs right now. 
It's a little female. They all turn to males once they get bigger, uh, but they all start their life as females. So that's a little girl right there. Yep. See you, girl. We'll get some uh, keepers if we keep at it. Hooked one. Let's be honest. That yeah. One seems oh, that one's turning into a male. That one's, dude. That's I, a pretty one. That one is turning into a male, but he's like the size of the other females. There we go. That's a hog. Uh, it's not big. It's not big. I don't think. I don't know. It's just kind of dead weight. No, that's a hog. How big is it going to be, though? Yeah, a little female. Little female. We're on them right now. We just gotta get the right size. There I mean, you go. I'm pretty sure we do this every time. You have to weed through the little ones. Yeah. To let the bait sit longer down there. Yeah, it seems like hogfish. They're very slow eaters. They like to sit there and kind of inspect the bait a little bit. So it takes them a little bit longer. They're not super quick like the grunts and porgies and other uh, bycatch that you get doing this. They so, just react a little slower. Yeah, so it seems like the longer you can let it sit on the bottom, and you want to make sure it's not even moving. You want to make sure it's just sitting there. Um, the longer you can do that, the higher probability it's going to be a hog compared to the other species. Right. Oh, dude. Oh Come on. This is probably a red grouper. It's just dead weight. Or a hog. <laughs> or a hog. Oh! Wow, this one is so orange and red. This one is a bigger female. Look at the colors on that one. That one is so colorful. Holy crap. We're still looking for the big males. Got to weed through smaller hogs, grunts, little red grouper, um, just to find those bigger hogs. But that's a very pretty fish. Right species, just wrong size. See you, dude. Let's try for a big red grouper. There we go. Bigger pin, not really a big pin, but see if big red grouper wants to play. Or a gag. I mean, I'll play with a gag, but can't keep them right now. Immediately. No way. Yep. Oh, he's off. Hold. Was that on a pin? Yep. Bigger pin. Back on it? Yep. Oh, shoot. Yep. That's good. That's a good fish. All right. Be a red. Don't be a gag. If this is a red, it's a keeper red. Come on. Let's drop the pin down there. Did not last long. That's a heavy fish. Dude. It's kind of, kind of. Like just coming up now. Gag. <laughs> and keeper gag. It is a keeper gag. <laughs> they're closed. They're closed, <laughs> but should have known. Jeez. Oh, that's when you catch them, is when they're closed. Yeah, that's a 23 inch gag. That's right at probably keeper, right around 24, yeah. Awesome fish. I mean, they're fun. He smoked that pinfish pretty much as soon as it went down there. Yeah, he's probably, yeah, he's probably a little short. He's probably like right at 23. And hook up. All right, I might do this a couple more times, but yep, probably a 23 inch gag. Can't keep them right now. And anyway, they need to be 24 inches when you can't keep them. So we're trying to get some red grouper. Those are in season. They need to be 20 inches. See if we can get one. Seated. This really could be a snapper here. Come on. Big snapper. No way. Yep. Big snapper. That's a big mangrove right there. Get up in here. That is what I've wanted Dude. this entire day. I My GoPro's dead, so you guys didn't see the beginning of that fight, but I just dropped a small pin down on the chicken rig like I've been doing for a while. Just picked up probably a 16, 17 inch mangrove on a little pinfish, so let me get the hook out of them, and then I'll get a measurement on them because I'm curious. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. So right there. 
16 and a half. A little bit past 16 and a half. That is a solid mangrove. We haven't gotten any keeper hogfish yet. And this is literally the first mangrove snapper we've caught all day. We've gotten some gag grouper, red grouper, lots of uh, trigger fish, lots of hogfish, lots of grunts, but let me see if I can get dialed in on these uh, on these mangroves right here. And let me uh, change my GoPro battery so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. All right, bottom jaw, top jaw. I'm glad we kept a lot of these small pins now. Yeah. Okay, let's drop them down. I'm wondering if that... There we go. I got my GoPro going. Snapper, you think? Kind of feels like it. This one does feel like a snapper. Yep, another snapper. Yes. All right, dude, we might be on them. Yes. We've been marking them all day. We might not be really ready. Another good one. Yeah, that's a keeper. There we go. Can I get the pin back? <laughs> Can I get my pin back? Oh yeah. What's our, what's the boat limit? Uh, 13? 13, yeah. What is it normally, 12? So inshore 10, offshore 12, but we'll give ourselves a solid inch limit right now. So I mean, we're gonna, just gonna make it so we have to get one over 13 inches. 13 or over. See if I can get this pin back. Dude, he's not letting go. He's, he's, he might just have that. Yeah. This guy's gonna. Okay, yeah. This guy's over 13. Come back. He's still got the pin in his mouth. <laughs> he is 13 and three quarter. The graph is crazy. Yeah, it's just there's so many fish down there, but that's why the GoPro showed. Yeah, like the GoPro showed almost all that though. Yeah, just gotta get some more of these mangroves. I should do a chicken rig, but like three, four foot above the the weight. Is this dumb? No. What's dumb is how many triggers are down here. All right, one last shrimp, and then we're gonna try a different spot. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 that is. Jeez. Like, honestly, not a bad one. What do you got going on there? Can you take yeah. this? <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Dude, this might be a big snapper, honestly. No way. Yeah. It's still fighting. Oh, it's in something. Is he really? It got eaten, it got eaten, it got eaten, it got eaten. It was a grouper. Um, don't let him have it. Don't let him have it. Get the half a group of them. What if it's a gl what if Goliath ate it? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you actually had a good grouper though. I think. Dude, I think that I, it was either a snapper or a grouper. Bonita right there. I, I think it was a snapper. Really? It just broke the hook. Really? Shoot. Uh, even though that was probably, a, I, the way it was fighting, it felt like a big snapper. Yeah. And I was like, wait, he's in something. And then I'm like, oh. oh. Yeah, he's in something. It really didn't feel like a shark to me. Mm -mm. It felt like a Goliath, which mm -hmm. is weird. I've never had Goliath issues out here. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, so we just moved spots about two miles away. Pretty much the same ledge, just a different section of the ledge. See if it's a little, happening a little bit more over here. We decided to drop the GoPro down again, but this time here at the second spot to see what was there. And we found a ton of mangrove snapper. Uh, you can see them here swimming up in the water column. They're exploring what we were dropping down. A pair of hogfish that go in front of the camera, a couple females right there. But we found not nearly as many gag grouper as we did at the first spot, but the amount of life, the amount of snapper was kind of crazy at this one. There's a ton of trigger fish as well, but you could see these mangroves were swimming up 15, 20 feet off the bottom. And something that we also found at this spot that we weren't really expecting was this big boy right here. This is a Goliath grouper. Typically you find them on areas that are like legitimate wrecks, like areas with a lot of structure. They like hanging out. 
and picking off some fish there. You don't typically see them in areas of just hard bottom like these spots. But after seeing this guy on the camera, I'm thinking that the fish that I lost at the first spot, I lost to another Goliath grouper instead of a shark. This guy's probably a couple hundred pounds and he's definitely the king of this area of the hard bottom. Here is a pretty good size hogfish. If I had to guess, he's clearly a keeper size to just what I'm seeing on the camera, which is 14 inches of the fork in the Gulf of Mexico. And you can see him swimming around in the background in this clip as well with a mangrove snapper swimming in front. Just a lot of life at this section of the hard bottom. You see trigger fish, you got a scamp grouper right here in the front, more uh, mangrove snapper swimming around. So after seeing this, we knew exactly what was at this spot. So I'm gonna start dropping a pin down on the fish finder rig, looking for these snapper. JC is gonna get the free line back out here, and then he's gonna try the shrimp for the hogs. Let's see what we can get. Marking some solid fish here. Got something. Don't oh, no. What are you gonna be? Pangrove. Look at that. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I got it. I lost my bait. Keep her a mangrove. Let's keep her. That's a hog. I really don't think so. That's a hog or a snapper. I think it's a big snapper. I think it's a huge snapper. I think it's a giant snapper. That is. It's a monster snapper, dude. Oh my, that might be like my second biggest mangrove. That's a huge mangrove, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Dude, Dude, that's a that's big a mangrove. Um, that's 19 at least. The spearfish would have missed that one. Wow. Dude, big fish of the day. Nice. Dude, that's a stud. That is a stud. I wasn't even recording for the first 10 seconds. I had the bale open and it just like, it just ripped. Jeez. I could barely even close the bale. You got your camera. Okay, get his nose up there. All right. Pinch tail. He's. A little over 19, like 19 and a quarter. Dude, that's a stud. Yeah, it's a big mango. We decided to start heading back in. It was getting a little bit late in the day, but on the way back in, we decided to stop at a wreck to see if there was amberjack. All right, I'm filming on the Sony. Hey, where are we at and what are we doing? We are about 16 miles offshore at a wreck and saw a lot of uh, bait, so we wanted to come check it out. Also wanted to see if we could get a Goliath. And Larry Amberjack just came up to the boat. So I tossed out this uh, this 10K Gosa with a big old road jig on it. Just started jigging it and uh, Larry watched an Amberjack come up and eat it. Dude, that's crazy. Just a white road jig. Did Goliath eat those? No. I mean, possibly that's why I'm trying to force him, but like... There's only so much you can do. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to lie. He did not look small. No, I think you got one of the big ones. This is like a thumbnail and a half right here. <laughs> the rods just tripled over. No! No! Did it get cut or fall? No, it just popped off. Oh, your hook broke. My hook is... Dude, hook is broken. That is not a thin hook. <laughs> Are you kidding me?